Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's me, Liz Muddy, and today we're doing a shock my stash, and this is what I picked up, this 42 Pan Beauty Bay palette that I have yet to play with, but I've had it for a while, and I gotta say, this look is perfection, I love it, um, along with this, I took out one of the blushes from ColourPop that I got. I bought all six of them because they were just too dang cute. And um, I don't regret it. I have loved every shade that I've tried. I took out my favorite highlighter, Lavender Dream from Odin's Eye. I play with this and it's all my cheeks again. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's beautiful. Colorful highlights are like my new obsession and I want to buy more. What else did I pick out? I haven't, those colors. I forgot how much I love their liquid lipsticks. I only have three, because the rest of the mine went bad, so I might have to dive back into these in the future. But yeah. Is there anything else I should point out? You know, just other bits and bobs on my face. You know, I realized I forgot. I forgot to spray my face. Also, pick this out of my <laughs> shop my stash, because I, I always forget to use the setting spray. It's not common use for moi. Yeah, let's just get right into this voiced over tutorial of the stuff I shopped out of my stash. I hope you enjoy. Alright, starting off with my PYT Beauty Primer. It's very moisturizing, so I'm just putting this everywhere. And um, then I'm going to be taking this Topology Skin Tint which um, I love a lot. I have the shade, what shade is this? Fair? I have Fair and Light. Yeah, I'm spraying this everywhere with my fingers because it's my favorite way to use this. It's very thin, oil consistency. Then taking uh, my eye primer that I got from Ulta, but I'm not sure I'm liking it. But I'm spraying this all over my lids. Then going in with the shade Fancy on the inner part of my crease blending it and building it up slowly well fast because i sped up the footage but you get what i mean and then i'm going to take periwinkle which is one of my favorite shades um in general but also from this palette and putting that in the middle of the crease and building that color till i'm satisfied then i'm going to be taking a velvet which is like this rich purple uh, I love this color also, just saying. But yeah, blending that on the outer corner and building that up as well. And then I'm taking a glitter primer. I finally got the NYX glitter primer, so I'm just putting that all over my lids to prep for the shimmy shins. And then for the first shimmer on the inner half, I'm going in with Gleam, which is the one that caught my eye the most. Periwinkle and Gleam. I actually would love that all over the lids by itself. But after placing that all over the inner half, the outer half of my lid, I went in with Mystic. Then I took my Kosa's concealer to then, you know, conceal and perfect uh, this under bags of mine. And just blending that out everywhere. And then I like to go over with my finger. And then I'm repeating what I did to on the top to my lower lash line. So going in with the velvet first, then taking periwinkle, and then on the inner half, I am taking fancy again. And yeah, just meeting that with the top, I believe. And then adding my rare beauty mascara. Just blaring and building that one up. I love the way it looks on my lashes, but I hate washing it off. Just gotta say that. It's a pain in the butt. And then to complete the, the look, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer. Discontinued, but I'm trying to pan it. It's a lot of product. This is gonna take a while. It's gonna, gonna take a while, but yeah. Bronzing my whole oh. <laughs> And my boyfriend put in our dog. Then going in with this blush from Colourpop. One of the heart blushes. I cannot tell you what the name is at the moment. It will be in the description. Then my fair highlighter at the moment. 
the lavender dream from Odin's eye. So beautiful. Hope you can tell how beautiful it is on the camera, but I don't think, I think you can. And then completing this look with a dose of colors um, lipstick. I did my brows already, and this is the final look, guys. Alright guys, so this is the look I came up with shopping my stash and honestly I have had a lot of fun. This was such a fun look. I love all of it. Um, a lot of this stuff I just felt like playing with. That's the whole point of shopping my stash, you know? Just like exploring what I have. And um, I love this palette. I knew I was going to, but I definitely love it and I'm happy I purchased this when I did. Which was like when it first came out. So had it for a little good little while now but this palette was the reason why I didn't get the Odin's Eyes So Men 2 palette probably saying that title wrong but because what I was mainly drawn to was like that the cooler tones and I just felt like I had those already with this palette and this look is just like I'm so happy like I can't next time I play with this palette I'm gonna play with the blues more but I love me some purple so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this shop in my stash. I hope you joined in and shopped your own. And yep, I'm probably gonna continue to play with this palette for a little bit now. Maybe for a week and then rotate it to something else. But yes, um, I also think that this palette has shades from like the Age of Opulence and the Magic one whatever it was called. Of course it doesn't have like certain tones in it but I read in the description that it had like those shades so I like missed out on both those palettes so I'm happy with this one. But I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next one. Bye bye!